An animal shelter in Warren needs help finding a crook tonight. That person put a major dent on the amount of donations that they receive. CBS News Detroit's Walter Murphy went to Warren to talk with them and has the story about how they're hoping that this never happens again. Well, they started to notice that the amount of cans they were bringing in was lower. Well, now they know why people were stealing them from a box outside. Well, tonight they're hoping to catch the person who did it and they're hoping to make sure that nobody does it again. So right here is our bin. Which Diane Reeves says is often overflowing. Over the course of nine years, we've raised a little over $100,000. But over the last several months, they've noticed that the amount of money the volunteers have raised when they exchange the cans has gone down about 20%. But it didn't seem like the donations were decreasing. And then this guy showed up. This gentleman was noticed taking bottles and cans for several months now, but everybody just thought he was a volunteer returning them like the others do. He wasn't, and they found that out because an actual volunteer confronted him, and he told them that he was unaware of what the cans were for, despite several signs scattered around the bin and several barks coming from inside the shelter. We put so much hard work into everything we do, and that's just, you know, it. it it, it's a gut punch. iHeart Dogs has helped over 4,000 dogs since they opened their doors in 2015, which isn't cheap. Reeves tells me that every dog's veterinary bill comes out to at least $250, but it can quickly climb to the thousands. So when people help themselves to one of their revenue streams, it hurts. We still have that really dim yellow light in our parking lot. We need to upgrade our lighting. Which could hopefully stop the freeloaders from taking things that don't belong to them that help these guys find new homes. Everything we're doing is giving and helping and you know it, to have them do that. It's just shocking. Now if you want to help I Heart Dogs Rescue in Warren, we're going to put a link to that on this story on our website. In Warren, Walter Murphy, CBS News, Detroit.